welcome to another video review. And today we're going to be taking a look at the new Transformers Prime Weaponizer Optimus Prime. Now, this is basically kind of their new version of leader class figures, although it looks a little bit smaller than a leader size figure and, and a little bit bigger than what I thought it was going to be. And that was going to be kind of like an ultra class. He looks a little bit bigger than that, but like I said, a little bit smaller than leader still. So kind of a new figure, I guess. Um, I'm already kind of a little bit annoyed with it because it says it's got four modes now when you flip around here on the side going to the top you see that it lists the four modes it has a robot command mode a weaponized robot mode and then coming down you see he's got a truck transfer mode and a weaponized truck mode those are the four modes and i think that's kind of lame that they even consider that a, a mode uh, come around here to the back and you see really nice packaging on the back of it you got a really nice image of optimus prime himself includes his laser or i'm sorry blaster ca cannon uh, and like i said he's got a weaponized robot mode weapons spin into action glowing light up power okay and then here in the weaponized truck mode you can see that his weapons deploy in both robot and vehicle mode so that's kind of cool flip around here on the side and it says, few Autobots carry as much raw firepower as Optimus Prime. He does not deploy the full measure of his strength often, but when the fight against the Decepticons is at its worst, you can rely on the leader of the Autobots to rain fire down on the evil robots. Um, okay, and then all the way at the bottom here, you see his uh, technical specs. Uh, I do find his intelligence being an 8 kind of odd because he seems really pretty smart, especially since he's, you know, Orion Pax, and he was a pretty smart dude. But there you have him. As you can see, nice open package here on the bottom. Now, I, I, I'm really unsure about these figures. I, I haven't looked at any pictures, really. I'm just going by what I'm seeing here. You got the Try Me thing, which, oh, that's kind of neat. It, it goes all the way back and then comes all the way out. That's kind of neat. That one spins a little bit better than that one does. But let's get Optimus Prime open and see how cool he actually is. <laughs> Here we go guys uh, right off the bat this is the best part about optimus prime this part right here this is it it's the best that's all you're gonna get uh and this thing was 30 dollars now what's cool I'm, I'm not even gonna show you the bad stuff yet we're gonna open this up this is the uh the armored gimmick this actually folds down and then you push this little button here at the top and those deploy from the side, which is really kind of cool. Uh, but then we start getting into some stupidness. Um, these droop, um, you, you're blasting in the ground. Uh, now to reset that, there's the little lever here on the bottom. You just pull these back and it resets back inside and then that little flap goes up and then you can bring that up. But again, let's try that one more time. Oh, okay, that's a little bit better. All right, that doesn't droop nearly as much, so. So if you want to if, if you want to make it look good, don't put this down all the way. Kind of leave it like so. So when you push it, these don't droop down. Because if you do, they droop. So, <laughs> uh, And now we get to the bad part. Everything else about him. This is the back. There's his hands. There's his arms. There's his fake chest piece. Um, I don't even know what to begin with 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 this it, 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 Like I said this thing is a $30 turd. It's this is ridiculous. This is absolutely Terrible looking. I mean, okay, so from the side like this maybe it looks okay uh, But as soon as you look at it that way This is ridiculously ugly. Uh, I can't stand this at all. Uh, this is a $30 figure that's supposed to be kind of like what we're getting with leader figures and this is what we got? Absolutely atrocious. Um, I, I can't, I mean, like I said, from, from this, this to the front is good. I like that. But then the back is just absolutely terrible. Now, <laughs> uh, Hasbro has been talked about, or been talking about for a while that they're going to be trying to make Transformers a little bit easier because apparently the movie line was too complicated for kids. Um, that's something that I've always thought was dumb. Transformers are now and have always been basically three toys in one. You've got a cool kind of car or jet or whatever. you got a vehicle to, that you can run around and play with. you got a robot, and then you get to transform them, and it's like a puzzle. So a harder puzzle isn't necessarily a bad thing. Uh, making these really simple, eh, that 
is kind of a bad thing, if you ask me. So, we're going to transform him. So, what you need to do, come around here, untab these from the side, fold this back. Do that on this side as well, and this whole canopy section is going to flop up just like so, which is perfectly fine. Separate this. This is just going to wiggle. Uh, these are just kind of tabbed into the underside here. Kind of angle these down. You can fold these little bits out. They're going to be his feet, and then you can separate that, and basically you have his legs. Coming up to the top, kind of rotate these out to the side, and then angle these down and around. I will say this dude does get pretty tall. Uh, take this section here, fold this back. This is going to accordion all the way back like so. And then you're going to bring this up. That's going to clip into place just like that. Rotate these up and then rotate it around. And these are, you're going to see a little tab in here uh, right by my thumb that's going to slot in there. That just rotates around and then locks into place. So do that on this side as well. Keep that down just like so. Uh, his head down was like, like that. Rotate it up. Rotate this. That'll lock into place there. That'll lock into place there. Rotate the arms down, rotate his wrists around, just like so. And you're already seeing one of the problems here. Um, his camping pack, that's what I'm going to call it. Take this section here, and you have to be careful with this because there's a little tab, uh, which definitely looks like it's going to break at some point in time. Just wiggle that, and position this like so. And here's the other problem that he has um he's going camping like a son of a gun that is a backpack like i have never seen the likes of except for on a boy scout because that is the mother of all backpacks right there uh and as you can see because of it and it, it locks into place um because of it and, and obviously you've got the whole gimmick here in the back it makes it very heavy now his legs here <laughs> outward are ratchet joints but nothing here so it just slowly bends back and it's just terrible i mean seriously hasbro this is this is what you're gonna give us for thirty dollars i mean this is ridiculous now he does come with a, a gun um here here's this gun now you can't do anything with this to to kind of make it look like well i guess no i mean there's nothing you can do. He's basically holding it. They've just given up the idea of making it look like he's actually having it form out of his own hand. They're just having him hold it. And there's a fair amount of molded detail in here, but it's all this kind of very light gray plastic. It's really unattractive. Um, but this is it. And that's, oh, and you couldn't even see it. Here, let's angle up. There, there's the gimmick. So you take this and then you fold this down. And uh, th this is this is where you're loading it. You're you're sliding it down here. Uh, now these these move up so that you can position these. The, the actual instructions have it like that, which looks funny. So keep those down. Now you got a little button here, and then if you want to, you can actually still use this original button. But this is the button that you're supposed to use in robot mode. And then you do so in. And there you go. And now it spins really good. This one doesn't spin nearly as good. And then to reload it, just like so. I mean, that's actually a cool gimmick. I, I like it. It's just really badly incorporated in this figure. Um, and I, I, I don't like this at all. I, I really don't. Now, his articulation, his head will look sort of left and right. And that's about it. You get a little bit up and down but that's the only motion that you're getting with it the shoulders move in and out they rotate all the way around they rotate at the upper part of the bicep and they bend at the elbow he also does have wrist wrist articulation wrist wrist articulation which is very nice obviously nothing at the waist because of the whole weaponizer gimmick uh like i said he's got nice ratchet joints moving in and out but nothing forward and back it's just a swivel and then his knees are nice ratchet joints and then they also rotate here and then you got some pivot here in the foot so you you can get some cool poses with them and he can't even look all the way to the side so this this is the about this is about the best that you're gonna get with him i mean that's that's his pose right there and 
Man, oh man, I, 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 I can't tell you how disappointed I am in this figure. Now, in, in terms of a size comparison, I'm going to set him off to the back. I'm actually going to prop him against my backboard so he actually stands there nicely. And here he is next to the far superior first edition version of Optimus Prime. And, I mean, they're able to hide the backpack on him so nicely. Now, I understand that you, you have to incorporate the gimmick in here, but... I mean, that's just really bad. And here he is next to a more recent leader class figure, that being the, the Dark of the Moon Sentinel Prime. As you can see, these are definitely smaller, which is why I was kind of led to believe that they were going to be basically more ultra class in terms of the scale. But he's got a backpack, and his, I mean, and he has a hard time standing somewhat. But, wow, holy guacamole, Batman. That's just, holy Wow! No, I know. I, I, I know. I'm sounding like I'm really, really hating this figure. And, uh, I mean, pe people joke that this is display from the front only. But even from the front, I don't think he looks all that good because of how blocky this is. It doesn't even look good from the front. I mean, his arms look good. His head looks good. The, the chest area looks good. That's really it. I mean, this is really kind of engineering and look of a deluxe class figure super sized up. I mean, that's really what this is like. And I am ridiculously disappointed in this figure. So bad. Now, to transform him back, uh, it's really, again, very simple. Rotate these little fists out like so, and then take this chest piece, fold these out, and oh, look, you, you can recreate the matrix coming out of his chest sure tuck his head down like so take these fold these out just like that bring this section down untab this back piece watch out for that coming out and you can see that yeah this one does spin a whole lot worse than this one does uh, fold this down and around this locks into place just like so keep this flopped up and over bend these rotate these around like that do that on this side as well rotate these i'm sorry rotate these wrists rotate these arms i should say up like so and they just really kind of sit in here uh, they, they kind of they tab in um up here but that's about it and then you straighten these and then you have little grooves right on the inside of his <laughs> leg that these slots fit into so bring these together these tab together just like so fold that up and then accordion this section down and then this is the most difficult part of the transformation making sure that you get these lined up because you kind of have to look underneath here to see and then when you got those locked in like so you just take this and you just kind of push this together kind of on an angle like it is and then take these fold these out and then rotate these around rotate tab them in like so accordion this forward just like that push that down as far as you can it doesn't really lock in then you take these fold these up those lock into place and that's what holds it down and that locks into place and here you have optimus prime back in his truck mode uh, you can take these guns and they can plug in here on the sides as part of his weapon storage uh, I, I almost wish you could actually plug it in here some way just to kind of cover that up but you can't and that's it guys here's your look at the weaponizer optimus prime um, wow now the bottom line is this really is one of the most disappointing figures that i've gotten in a very very long time so long that I can't even think of a figure that I'm more disappointed in I'm trying I'm, I'm really trying it's not coming to me I'm sure I'll think of something but and I'm sure you guys will be like what about this figure is it worse than this one is it worse than this one is it worse than this one yes it's probably worse than all of those um this is just like I like I said from the front this thing looks okay but that's because this front section really doesn't transform that much. Uh, this top section does. Um, th that folds back, and these fold out. Everything else pretty much stays the same. It doesn't move at all. I mean, you can basically stand him up, and this is what he looks like. And you couldn't see it because I was all zoomed in. But 
this this whole section doesn't change too much uh it really really doesn't like i said this thing has basically a deluxe level transformation and you're paying 30 dollars for it i cannot recommend this figure at all it it, it it, it, I mean, it's ugly looking here. It's ugly looking in the in the actual robot mode. I mean, the backpack. This whole thing is like I said. It's it's not a backpack. It's a camping backpack. I mean, he's got a tent in there. He's going cross country camping. I mean, he's trekking from one coast to the other coast. He's like Frodo. He's going from from the Shire all the way over to Mordor. I mean, one does not simply walk into Mordor. Especially when you're Optimus Prime, you can drive there, but you got a backpack that basically you could go walking anywhere. I mean, it's just really, really bad. Really very ugly. Not liking this at all. Uh, I'm sure people are going to absolutely love this thing. And if you do, fantastic, great. For those people that think it's great, pick it up. You're, you're probably going to like it. But me, no, not at all. Can't stand the thing. Very, very disappointed. And... Honestly, has me worried about Bumblebee. But uh, but that's about it, guys. Here's your look at the Transformers Prime Robots in Disguise Weaponizer Optimus Prime. I want to thank you for tuning in. And until next time, this has been Optibotomus. I'll talk to you later.